Hey guys, Dan with Kane Custom Garage here, and we got another episode of This Old Chainsaw. Tonight we're going to be featuring my Titan 30 chainsaw that I got from an estate sale years ago. So, hope you enjoy the video and be sure and like and subscribe. So here it is, the chainsaw that started it all. I got this guy at an estate sale. I think I paid like 15 bucks for it. It was sort of greasy and old looking, but there was just something about it that was calling my name. And so I brought it home and uh, we thought it was locked up at first, but it was just the uh, starter recoil that was rusted up and uh, took that apart, got the starter working and we put a little gas down her throat and she started right up. But yeah, these Titan chainsaws are made by a Titan Chainsaw Company in Seattle. This is a 1954 model. It has the half inch chain, which is pretty hard to find these days. And it has uh, the West Bend engine, and which was pretty common back then. The chainsaw manufacturers didn't manufacture every part of their chainsaw. They just would outsource the motor and the starter. Like this is the Bulldog starter. I'm not sure who makes that. I guess that's the company name, Bulldog. But it sort of cracks me up because you'll see chainsaws for sale on eBay and they um, they see that Bulldog on there and so they think that it's a Bulldog chainsaw, but it's actually just the starter that's called that. Just a little fun fact for you. I got the uh, decals from Sugar Creek Supply. They got a website where you can get all your decals. This one's even the original water slide decal that would have had on it. And uh, that's why I decided to restore it because it just had too much paint peeling and the graphics were almost gone on it. So, but yeah, I even have, even have some of the original um, Titan chain that came on the uh, original bar that was with it, which is the smaller one. See how it says Titan on it? That's pretty cool. I put a longer bar and chain on it just because I think the proportions are better with that on it, but this is the original bar that was on it. And I put the sticker on that. I'll have to get another one for this bar. But yeah, look at that exhaust pipe. It looks like it's almost like a gun barrel, like it's blued like a gun. Yeah, just cool. There's no plastic on this saw. It's got the cool aluminum caps. These things polish up really nice. Super cool. And then of course I have to put my fancy little chrome acorn nuts on everything because it just makes it look that much cooler. So yeah, these things had, um, they had a funky oiling system that was pressurized from the crankcase. See those two um, hoses there? And then that's what oiled the crank, uh, or that's what oiled the uh, bar and chain. It doesn't have a manual or manual oiler on it. And then the other funky thing about this saw is it's left-handed uh, bar and chain. You don't see that very often. So yeah, just love this old chainsaw. And I actually have a video of it running when we first got it. Um, and I'll put an attachment to that at the end of this video. Because like I said, um, we used to sell chainsaws back in the day. And that's why we got so many of these old chainsaw videos on there from when we were selling chainsaws. We'd take a um, video of it and then we'd put it on there with the listing so that the buyer could hear it running. And I actually did that with this. I was going to sell it and then I was like, nah, I can't do it. I couldn't bring myself to do it. She's just too cool. Don't you think so, Cat? He don't care. <laughs> so anyways, that's the old Titan 30. Hope you like this video. I got a bunch more chainsaws to show you at this old chainsaw. Be sure to like and subscribe.